Hello guys, and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Chandler Taylor. I'm an entrepreneur and avid blogger based in Southern California. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a blog with SEO installed in under five minutes. Now, for those of you who don't know what SEO stands for, it stands for Search Engine Optimization. Search Engine Optimization is a tool that a lot of bloggers and entrepreneurs use to drive free traffic to their website. When you utilize this tool properly, you could actually harness the power of numbers on the internet and drive mass amounts of traffic to your website. So I really would advise anybody out there trying to increase online sales or online traffic or social media campaigns, I'd advise you guys to look more into what SEO is look a little more into how you can get started in it. I mean, you know, there's a lot of little steps you could take to start driving that traffic. So I really, I really would advise you guys to do that. So today I'm going to be going through two key aspects of blogging. The first is the platform and then the second will be the SEO part. Now the platform that we use is something called WordPress. A lot of you probably already know what WordPress is, um, but if you do not, it's, it's very simple. WordPress is a blogging site that a lot of businesses and entrepreneurs utilize to drive traffic to their site. And the way this works is for every blog post you write, it has something called keywords in it. And those keywords are what the search engines find to drive traffic right back to your site. So it's an incredible tool for driving traffic to your site and I really highly recommend anybody who's not using it to jump on the bandwagon because it really will increase your bottom line it's very important and the second is for SEO and the SEO is actually a very simple plugin that I'm going to show you how to use within WordPress and what that plugin does is it kind of handles all the headaches involved with SEO and puts them into one easy to use place within your plugins page on WordPress so in order to host a WordPress site, you actually have to have a web hosting service. There is a plethora of services out there, but one that I would always highly recommend is a service called HostGator. Over the past five years, I've used probably over 50 different services and all of them have their pros and cons. And to be honest, HostGator has been the best service out there among all of them. So. Of course, you're welcome to use any service that you would like, but I would highly recommend using HostGator. HostGator has fabulous support, and that's on the technical side as well as the sales side. So I'd really hi highly recommend that you guys use them. So to get started, go ahead and click the Google Chrome icon on the bottom menu bar. And as soon as that pulls up, we're going to type in ChandlerMTaylor.com. And that's going to take you to my site. And right on my site, I actually have a link to HostGator. So go ahead and click that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click web hosting and then once you reach this page go ahead and click on the business plan so once you get to the order wizard you actually have two options the first option is to register a new domain and the second option is to migrate a domain from a different hosting service either way i already own the domain that i have which is the five minute blog.com so i'm just going to type that in there dot com and what it's going to do is just migrate it into my account so if you're doing a new domain you'll just click this and it'll actually tell you um, if it's available or not and if it is you could actually click right here and then it'll add it to your order so the next step is to choose the actual package that we want so of course we're going to select the business package you have a couple different options for the billing cycle I just click the month by month if you'd like to do it all up front they do give you a discount on your pricing and then here we're just going to type in what we want our account name to be. And then of course after we do that, the next step is the billing information. So we're just going to type our information in here. And then our credit card information right over here. And of course it does give you the option for PayPal. And if you have a PayPal account, it'll make it very easy to do. Once you enter your billing information, you can scroll down on the page and it gives you some different options. These add-ons are very beneficial, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to uncheck all the boxes so we can just move forward to getting our account created. And then once you're done with that, you can click the create account button. So once you get the email, the email will contain the unique link to your control panel. And the control panel is the area that will set up all the WordPress and SEO features of your blog. So once you click that, it'll take you to the login screen. And from there, you could type in the username and temporary password that they sent you via email. So here I'm just going to type in Taylor55, which was my 
username and then my password, my temporary password, and then it should authenticate and bring me into my account. Now this is where the fun starts. This is kind of what you're going to see for the first time. Um, don't be too overwhelmed by it. It's gonna throw a lot of different options to you. For now, let's just click out of those options, click out of this. The control panel is the epicenter of everything related to your website. So it's very important to know what they do. And if you don't know what anything does in here, I would recommend not touching it because you can do some serious damage to your website. The next step is to install WordPress. So what we are going to do now is scroll to the very bottom of the page and you are going to see in the second to last box, a box called software and services. Um, what we're going to do there is click quick install. So right now we are going to click WordPress it gives you a little bit of verbiage up here saying, hey, this is the latest version. This is the install size. So we are going to click continue here. What we have to do here is choose our domain. So as you could see, it has our domain, the 5 minuteblogcom right here. So what I want to do here is just type in our email and then the blog title. So I'm just going to call this the 5 minute blog. And then the admin username, I would just put it to admin. That's what I typically do. And then you could put your first and last name right here. And as soon as you have all that information installed, you're going to click install now. And you're going to see it run through the installation process. So once you get to this page, it's going to give you a few different bits of information. This information is very important to remember. So I highly recommend jotting it down. Um, the first bit is the admin area of your WordPress page. This is where you're going to do all of your blog posts. It's where you're going to update any kind of graphics or videos that you have. So it's kind of essential to remember what this link is. Now, the second most important part, besides your username, of course, is the password. Now, this password is a temporary password. As you could see, it's very long and very complicated. So what I would recommend you do is once you initially get into your account with this password, I recommend that you change it. So what I typically do is I just copy paste this and then click the link right here so it takes me to my new WordPress site. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I just copy pasted it. I'm going to click this link and it's going to open a new tab with our WordPress. Now as you can see, it brings us to this page right here. And this page is going to ask for your username and password. As soon as it has both, it's going to take you to the admin panel. So we are going to type in our username, which is admin, and then our password, which was that long password on the quick install page. So I'm just going to do a quick paste, and then I'm going to click log in. Now I wouldn't do the remember me because, like I said, I highly recommend that you change the password due to it being so long. So as you can see here, this is your WordPress dashboard. The WordPress dashboard is the landing page for your whole WordPress admin panel site. So as you can see, you have a whole bunch of different options on the side. So what we're going to do at this point is look at the front end of our site. So we could actually click right here and say visit site, and it'll actually take us to what the outside world will see. So as you can see here, it says hello world. So that's actually our post. And then this is the little synopsis of what that post is about. So if we want to go back to the admin panel, we just click right here and it takes us back to our dashboard. So what I want to do now is show you how to install the SEO plugin for our WordPress. Because your first step, of course, will be to supply your front end of the website with content. So once you have this full of content and you cleaned up some of these side categories and whatnot, you want to make sure that you have the SEO side to support that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the dashboard. And once we're at that dashboard, we're going to go right to the bottom in the left-hand corner to the area of plugins. You can install all sorts of plugins. I mean, there literally is thousands upon thousands of plugins that you could use. And that really is one of the biggest draws in my opinion to using WordPress because now it kind of takes the headache away from doing hard code and you could easily just install a plugin that has all the work done for you. So it kind of just makes it easier for someone to get into the realm of SEO or you know e-commerce or anything along those lines. We're going to click this and it just shows this little side menu and what we're going to do here is click add new. Once you click add new, it's going to take you to this page right here, and we're just going to go to search plugins. So what we need to do here is click the search plugins entry box, and then we're going to type in SEO 
Yoast, Y-O-A-S-T. Once we do that, we're just going to go enter or search, and it's going to bring up the plugins that match that phrase. So as you can see, the first one right here, it says WordPress SEO by Yoast. As you can see, this is a very, very popular download. A lot of people are utilizing this to drive traffic to their site, gain trust with the search engines, link, and do a lot of other SEO-based activities to help drive traffic to your site. So what we want to do here is click Install Now. It's that simple. As soon as you click Install and you confirm that you're installing the plugin, it actually will install the plugin and give you a success message. As long as you don't get any error messages, you're good to go, and you're going to get the option to activate the plugin or return to the plugin installer. So in this case, we want to activate the plugin. So let's go ahead and click that right now. And it should give us a confirmation message when it's done. So there you go. So it's plugin activated. Boom. So as you can see right down here, you have WordPress SEO. So all we're going to do here is just make sure that's in the list. Once that's done, we know it's successfully installed. So what we want to do is go back into our dashboard menu and look for that plugin. Now, as you can see at the very bottom, it says SEO. Go ahead and click the main category right there, and it's going to bring you to the main dashboard. So just like WordPress has a dashboard, so do most plugins that you install within WordPress. And the way you access those dashboards is by clicking it right here. And as you can see, it gives you a breakdown of all the different options that you have within your WordPress site. So what I really recommend you do is go through all of these different menu items and just kind of get, get a bearing of what they are and how they benefit your website. As you can see, the different options that it gives you, the plugin actually gives you a very detailed description of what that does for your site. So for example, if we, if we click Titles and Metas, it's going to bring us to this page. Now, what it does is it'll actually give you little descriptions, of course, up here in the corner, as well as down here as to what that actually does on your site. So this is going to be one way that you kind of specify what SEO options you want for your blog to have. So the second will be actually within the posts themselves. So right now I'm going to show you how to do a post and then also bring in the SEO aspect to that post. In the left-hand menu of your dashboard, we're going to go right up to posts right up here. Okay, as you can see, we have that Hello World post that we saw on the main page. So for now, we'll just leave that there. But what we want to do is actually add our own post. So we're going to click Add New right up here. As you can see, it kind of highlights blue. So we're going to click that, and it's going to bring us to a page that allows us to enter in what we want this blog post to be about. So for here, you could see, I'm just going to click Test Blog Post, and then here, this is a test so this would be hypothetically speaking the title of your blog post and this would be the content for your blog post so if I click publish right now it's actually going to publish that blog post to the front-end website so now if we go to the main website you're gonna see the initial hello world post as well as the test blog post so what we want to do is of course add SEO to that blog post because as it is this is still very powerful within the search engines but we want to make it super powerful so that it starts driving mass amounts of traffic to your website so what we're going to do here is go back to your admin dashboard back to the post menu and this is where you could see the different posts that you've posted in the past so what we're going to do here is just click test blog post and it's going to take us back to the edit screen once we're back to the edit screen, I just want you to scroll down and notice the WordPress SEO by Yoast. Now right here, it kind of simplifies everything that's under this SEO menu so that it's a little easier to understand and a little easier to start working with. So as you can see, you have four main tabs, but right now I'm just going to focus on the general tab. This is the most important tab. As you can see, it says snippet preview. So if you put your mouse over the question mark, this is going to give you a description of what that does. For example, here it says, this is a rendering of what this post might look like in a Google search results. So that's phenomenal. So what you could do here is change, let's say you wanted that capitalized, you could actually change it up here and update the page. Another option would be is the focus keywords. So right here, as it explains, it says pick the main keyword or key phrase that this page is about. So 
pretty much what you want to do here is give a quick synopsis of keywords and subject content that people may be prone to type in to find your blog post. So let's say, for example, you're writing a blog post about business. Let's say your business blog post is specifically about online marketing. So right here, you might want to type in this blog helps people understand the basics of marketing. Just like that. So what that's going to do is give you a little bit of a, a, a more supportive push into ranking better on the Google and Yahoo search engines. Now here, same thing, the SEO title. As you can see in the description, it says, the SEO title defaults to what is generated based on the site's title template for this post type. So just to simplify that idea, you just probably want to put in the same post as up here so that the search engines can grab that and utilize it properly. So I'm just going to copy paste that right into there. So next is meta description. And as you can see, it reads, the meta description is often shown as a black text under the title in a search result. So if you go to Google and type in a phrase, you'll notice that there's a bit of text under the main title. And that's exactly what this meta description is. So it's very important that you describe what the content of your blog post is about so that the search engines have enough to work with to actually rank you and display you on the search engines. So I might say something along the lines of what I put in my focus keyword. So of course, as you could see, there's four main features that this provides among many other, but if you could really utilize these four key features, it's really going to help you rank better on Google, on Yahoo, on all the search engines, or lead to a higher social media following. Either way, it really does increase your bottom line and it's something that I highly recommend you do. Now, before you get too intertwined in the, in the SEO side of it, I highly recommend that you just figure out how to post on WordPress as I showed you earlier in the video. And once you have that down, you could really start messing around with the basics of what this plugin offers. And you know, as you could see, there's just a lot of different options. So the number one bit of advice I can give you is just don't be overwhelmed. Take your time, read about it, and test and optimize. I mean, that's that's really the key to good SEOs. You want to test and optimize. And for example, so with this post, we might want to start messing with the focus keywords and the meta description and the SEO title to see how Google deciphers that information and ultimately ranks that article within the internet. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. It was my pleasure trying to teach you some of my knowledge within WordPress and the SEO realm of marketing. And if you guys have any questions or feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much.